I know you don't know me, but my name is Daisy. What's yours? Well, it's nice to meet you. I saw you from over there, and I couldn't help but notice that you looked a little nervous. Are you okay? I have been on at least 12 flights in my life. I'm pretty much an expert. You don't have anything to be afraid of. Okay, look. What I do is I picture myself flying in the air big pegasus. That doesn't help you. Well, what's your favorite flying creature? Hmm. Okay. Well, you can just fly away on one of those. I think we're on the same flight. Can I see your boarding pass? No? Okay. Sorry. I said, you don't have to be scared. I brought some crayons and a coloring book. If we sit next to each other, you can borrow them. <laughs> well, I'm actually going to a medical conference. Believe it or not. That's right. So, oh me, I'm not a doctor per se, but uh, you know, Daisy, hi, what are you doing? Just talking to this nice person. Um, excuse me, I'm so sorry, is she bothering I'm you? I'm not bothering anybody. Right? Daisy. This is my sister. This is my sister. I'm, I'm taking her with me on a medical conference. I already told them. I think we're on your flight. Are you okay? They look a little bit. You look a little bit pale. That's what I said. Oh, yeah, I I am a doctor. That's why I'm, I'm going to the medical conference. She's just coming. Feel a little bad after I um, after I fired her. Anyway, um, Daisy, will you please grab my bag out of my suitcase? Sure. I'm gonna just take whatever you want. Make sure they're okay. 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 Thank you. <coughs> okay. So, do you mind if I just? Please keep hand sanitizer in your pocket. That's one thing you learn. Okay. Do you mind if I just take a little look at your face? Okay. I'm just slightly worried because you look very pale. And not like the normal, I'm just a pale person kind of pale. Okay. Do you have any known medical illnesses? Okay. Do you feel faint? I'm gonna get you some water too, but you don't feel like you're gonna throw up or pass out or anything. Okay, that's very good. Do you mind just taking a deep breath for me? One more. Good. Okay. You didn't hit your head or if you had any 
had drama in the past couple days. Okay. Is this your first time flying? Oh, I got your back. Daisy. <laughs> You. I try. Yes, flying is not so bad. You might just be having a very mild anxiety panic attack to the flight. Um, if it's okay with you, I'd like to do a quick examination. Of course you do. Let me just get something. She just thought that she's a doctor. Out of my medical bag. few years of, what, medical school? I can do it. What? I'm not saying anything to them. I, uh, may have put your latex gloves all the way at the bottom of your back. I'm sorry. It's hard to get gloves on after you, uh, put hand sanitizer on as well. Doctor, okay. Don't tell her I said that. Daisy? Well, it's normal to have anxiety about flying, especially if it's your first time. Um, I just want to check sort of your vitals and maybe just have you relax a little bit. I can do that part. Just to sort of bring you down from any sort of anxiety or fear that you may be having. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. You'll be okay. So, the first thing I want to do is just check your eyes with the lights. Can I do that? Can I help? No. Be over there. Thank you. She's always trying to help. She's sweet, but um, I'm just gonna feel along your neck. Does that hurt at all? Is that uncomfortable? Okay, good. Gonna feel behind ears. Great. Okay. Do you still feel a little wheezy? Okay. And when did this wheeziness start? You know what? Do you mind if I grab my notebook? I think that my colleagues at the medical conference actually might find your case a little bit interesting. Did you mind terribly? Okay. Thank you. I'll be back in a moment. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, I just know that uh, my colleagues might want to hear about this because we are actually studying anxiety and its causes, its roots, etc. So we're trying to gather some demographic info. So, could you give me your name please? Just your first name is fine. And, um, I can give you a fake name in the study. Do you have a contact email or phone number that I could have, just in case I have any follow-up questions? You don't have to. Oh, great. Thank you so much. Um, so tell me a little bit about your history. Do you have a history with anxiety? Okay, what about family members? And what about any other mental illnesses or depression? Okay. So
So, how are you feeling right now on a scale of 1 to 10? Okay. And when did you start to feel anxious? Okay. So you... Uh, how long have you been at the airport for? Right. Okay, that makes sense. I just want to put a chart together for you. You did great with the mini eye exam. Do you mind giving me your rest? I'm just going to take your pulse. elevated, but that's obviously to be expected. Okay, for the light fine. Um, would you mind doing just one more test for me? I'm going to put my finger very close to your nose, and I just want you to concentrate on it as best you can. Once more. And out again. Okay. Great. So there's no blurriness in your vision. Okay. How is your nausea level? Any cold sweats? Okay. Anything else you think I should know? Thank you so much for that information. Um, so, you must be from around here, if this is your airport. Yes. And you are flying. You're on my flight. Okay, so yeah, we're going across the country. Well, for your first flight, I know it can be daunting if it's a bit long. So, you know what? Actually, in my bag, I always... Of compression socks. So these aren't meant to help with anxiety, but I find that they help me just relax. You pull them up your calves and it keeps your legs compressed. Um, your other clothing looks pretty loose, so that's a really good thing. Uh, this will help against like deep vein thrombosis, which you don't have to worry about. You seem quite healthy and young, <laughs> right? Um, but this might help you just feel a little bit better and just keep your body in top shape. Yeah, no, take them. Seriously. Okay, wonderful. Well, it's the least I can do. Okay, so let me just... You know what? Why don't I call Daisy over here, and I'll have her get you some tea, okay? Hey, hey, hello. Wow. That was fast. I was watching you from over there. Stop being creepy. I'm not creepy. She's creepy. I'm not. She's creepy. I'm not creepy. Anyway, why don't you go get our friend some tea, okay? Oh, you want some tea? I'm gonna go. Kind of tea do you like? Okay, get out of here. I'll go get the tea, Daisy. <laughs> You're welcome. It was really nice to meet you. I'm sorry you're feeling it. bad right now, but you seem to have already gained a little bit of color back, so that's a good sign. Um, and Daisy will keep you company. I think we have a couple minutes before our flight boards. Alright, nice to meet you. Hi. <laughs> tea. Here you go. Okay, that's much better, isn't it? I got one for myself, too. So, tell me a little bit. 
bit about yourself. I can't believe it's your first time flying. Flying is, I think it's kind of fun. You get to sit on the plane and they bring you snacks. Did you know that? You get free snacks and free food. Food's the same thing as snacks, but on a really long flight, you get real food, and they'll bring you drinks, and you can even pay for some wine if you're already 21. Well, anyway, on the plane, you will get to meet all your nice neighbors. Yeah, and maybe we'll be sitting next to each other. Like I said, you can borrow my crayons and the coloring book. Well, it's one of those coloring books with all the, what do you call it, mandalas in it? All the pretty lines and shapes and everything. And I like crayons because you don't have to sharpen them like color pencils. Although, you can get the big pack of crayons that has a sharpener in the back. We'll be able to get even more tea on the plane. Mm-hmm. And, uh, what are you doing over, you know, at the destination? It's a big city. You're a very important person over there. If you needed to fly all the way over there. Oh wow. <laughs> That's great. I hope you have a wonderful time. Well, I'll just be hanging out with my sister. She's a good doctor. I was working at a hotel for a little bit, but, um, not anymore. We weren't a good fit, you know? It happens. Yes, I'm actually looking at a job right now. It's for a uh, matchmaking service. Oh, I just love love, don't you? <laughs> it's so fun. People get to come in and talk to them about their lives and their preferences and all that stuff. And then I find them somebody to go on a date with. <laughs> yeah, my first day is next month, I think. I asked to start late so that I could go on vacation for a little bit. Mm -hmm. When's the last vacation you've been on? You deserve this one. Yeah. Oh, your face is looking a lot better. Sorry. I tend to touch people because I can more feel the energy. You know? You can't really feel the energy of somebody without that real physical contact right there on the cheeks. Mm-hmm. Boarding number do you have? I don't even know which one I have. I swear they go up to like group number 12 now or something. I told my sister that I wanted to sit in first class, but she said no. Whatever. They get free wine up there. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, it'll be a good time, I promise. Are you feeling better? That's wonderful. Keep drinking your tea. Come on, it's not scary. It's just some water with grass and leaves. Just, you know, tea is kind of weird, isn't it? That's okay. 
It's good though. Okay. I'm glad to hear it. So, I think they're gonna start calling our boarding pretty soon. Yeah. Well, if you want, we can stand in line together. 